Ah, these kids are picking on me! What, what, what? Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 best boss fights in South Park video games. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. Now, of course, we're only going to be talking about the two RPGs, Stick of Truth and Fractured But Whole. This is mainly because they are the only two games with real boss fights. Also, they don't suck. Come on. We're not going to be talking about South Park Rally or that crappy FPS game or even Tenorman's Revenge. Come on, you kidding me? That said, which of these boss fights was your favorite? Share with us in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Chef, South Park the Stick of Truth. I'm gonna make love to you, woman! Ah! For those of you wondering why Chef never appeared in another episode of the show after season 10, voice actor Isaac Hayes was at odds with show creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone due to their criticisms of Scientology, a religion that Isaac Hayes is a member of. As a means to jab at Hayes, they completely humiliated Chef by killing off the character, and in Stick of Truth, you can kick him while he's down. Clyde resurrects Chef as a zombie, and now you gotta beat the snot out of him and send him back to his grave. Though he isn't as difficult as Stick of Truth's other bosses, the few references and humiliating defeat still make him one of the best bosses in the game. Al Gore, South Park The Stick of Truth. But why haven't you liked any of my Facebook messages? Unless, <gasps> of course, you're no normal human kid. It's you! Man bear pig. Speaking of humiliating, the boss fight against Al Gore is a hilarious two-parter. After becoming friends with him on Facebook, the former sort of vice president will slowly begin to spam your feed, eventually prompting you to unfriend him. Surprisingly, this first fight is the harder of the two, as Gore will summon Secret Service agents on his second turn, and these boys hit hard. Gortastic! Protect the former sort of vice Ow. president! If you can get enough effects stacked on Gore or can dish out the pain equally among him and his agents, then the fight shouldn't be much of a hassle. After which, you can sort of breeze through the second fight where Gore dons a shoddy man bear pig costume. Personally, my favorite boss fight in the whole game. I'm super serial, you guys. Wait, I can't die! I was almost barely president! Ha! Mitch Connor. South Park the Fractured Butt Hole. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me or the king? <laughs> Admittedly, this is a fight you'll either love or hate. On one hand, the fight is brutally long, which can make impatient players like me get a bit frustrated. Honestly, when I first played the game, I was done. I'm, I'm like, I need to stop playing this for a while before I went back and platinum the game. On the other hand, it's hilarious in how Cartman's Mitch Connor persona manages to make a complete mockery of your superhero journey at the town's expense. Yeah, Kyle, this is super weird. How about you, Freedom Pal? Which one of us is the real villain? Dude, I don't know what to do. Throughout the fight, Mitch will negate damage at his own discretion, redirect it at Kyle, and call out multiple moves on his turn. It's the classic kid on the playground going, nah, aw, I dodged that. Like we said, you either are going to love or hate this fight, and in our opinion, it's a fight we hate to love. Honestly. Ow. That's right, bitch, you dead. The Sparrow Prince. South Park, the Stick of Truth. I am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. At one point in Stick of Truth, you'll be forced to make a brief journey that Lemmy Winks once did. And if you know what we're talking about, you know then. While in this dark and disgusting cave, you'll encounter the Sparrow Prince, who, despite the tone in his voice, is very angry. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. It's kind of shocking at how hard the Sparrow Prince's attacks hit, so you better have nailed blocking by this point. But what we love about this fight the most, besides its difficulty, is the fact that the tale of Lemmy Winks is sung in the background throughout. It's just magical. 
Well done, no kid. That's right. Respect our authority. Corey Haim, South Park, the fractured but whole. Look, it's Corey Haim. Get him. No, you're being ignorant. I'm so tired of people being ignorant. In case the joke has flown over your head, no, this is not actually Corey Haim. It's the king of pop, Michael Jackson, in disguise. After chasing him and the vamp kids across Casa Bonita, it's time for you and your squad to put up your dukes. I'm not the only one who's damaged. This one might be a bit lengthy, as Michael, I mean Corey, has a meaty health bar and a large handful of vamp kids by his side. Careless players will find their units surrounded and ganged up on, so try not to lose yourself in the catchy beat and play it smart. The Bishop of Banff, South Park, the Stick of Truth. The prince thinks Canada is a monarchy, but there's other people with opinions by God. Sorry, God. One of the funniest bits in Stick of Truth was how Canada was portrayed as an old school NES RPG with its muffled sound effects and 8-bit rendition of the national anthem. With this came some pretty hilarious battles and quests, the best one being the duel against the Bishop of Banff. By the hammer of letters! I'm sorry. Don't expect much of a challenge here. The most the bishop can do is fully restore his health and fart in your face. This is more of a joke fight, but it's a damn good one. So enjoy the ridiculousness while it lasts. And also, who hits a bishop? You don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Spontaneous bootay. South Park, the fractured but whole. The mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous bootay. Hey, honey, you ain't ready for this bootay. Spontaneous bootay is perhaps the raunchiest boss in the game and the raunchiest we can get in this video without getting demonetized. Maybe. Please, YouTube, be merciful. This is a boss where fighting cannot take priority over movement. Spontaneous Boutte cannot be fought off. Spontaneous Boutte cannot be reasoned with. <laughs> you must move forward, power through her cohorts to make it out alive. If one of your members gets left in the terror radius, that's it. They're done for. There is no saving them. She may not be the hardest boss in the game, but she certainly isn't the easiest. I hear that some miners need some crushing. You get him, Bootay! Kyle, Kyle, and Kyle's mom. South Park, the fractured butthole. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. Even though fractured butthole isn't as great as Stick of Truth, this one was perfect for veteran fans to experience. After beating on Kyle's dweebish cousin, you have incurred the wrath of Kyle's mom, Sheila, and the boss music makes the entire battle just perfect. Can I lick the blood off your claws? Can I? Her son joins in too, and it makes the fight much more interesting. Not only do you have Cousin Kyle using his own unfair tactics, but now you have Kyle with his unique abilities and Sheila's raw strength. Take out Sheila quick, and the two Kyles shouldn't be too harrowing to deal with. And also, be sure to enjoy that special little tune whose title I cannot repeat. Fans, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Princess Kinney, South Park, The Stick of Truth. Though it doesn't go on as long as the fight against Mitch Connor, or even our final entry, which we will get to in a second, Princess Kenny was a really tough final boss and worthy of being the final challenge in Stick of Truth. Kenny has unleashed the full potential of his inner anime princess magic girl powers. Combined with the zombie goo, he's about to become unstoppable. So with all of your abilities and with every party member, you will have to show Kenny that you have mastered your skills as well as harnessed the power of friendship. From friending people on Facebook. No! Where are you going with Princess 
Pity's rat, damn you! If you haven't done all of the side quests and maximized the full potential of your skills, Kenny might be troublesome to deal with. Just make sure you have plenty of items to repeat turns, boost your strength, and keep your mana and PP up. <laughs> PP. Morgan Freeman, South Park the Fractured But Whole. You think your farts are pretty bad, huh, kid? Well, I'll be the judge of that. Of every boss between the South Park RPGs, and there's a good chunk of them, Morgan Freeman will be the toughest of the bunch to beat. The actor turned taco store owner boasts the highest amount of health in the game, and his damage output is just as absurd. Each of his attacks cover a wide area, allowing him to deal significant damage to several party members in one move. Your best bet is to box him in as much as you can in order to limit his movements. Do this and spread out your units enough to make it harder for him to choose who to attack. Your summons and fart abilities will also come in handy here. Just make sure you have the time to sit down and power through, because this, this is a long brawl. I'm not kidding, I, I actually uploaded the entire boss fight where I finally won onto YouTube, and it's roughly 20 minutes. That, oh man, it was grueling too. I died several times, I think I spent like two or three hours trying to beat him, but I finally did it. And if I can do it, you can too. Believe it. Have potential, kid. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.